Hey, Ben here once again with Stude on the Lake. Hey, we got something special today. So uh, this is a little unique thing that I just kind of felt I had to do. So what is art? Um, well, we're going to show you some art here. Uh, some of you may notice or recognize uh, where this came from. But uh, this guy that I'm going to talk about in this one has done some, some painting. He's a well-known carver and a good friend. And he just uh, recently showed his paintings uh, to the group. And they're unique. Now, he, he did these paintings probably 10 years ago, and I'm going to guess. And, uh, and he kind of put them away. And I think most of them are done with charcoals and acrylics. But here's something I want to share with you. This. What the heck is this? You can read as well as I can. This is a mathematical deal that started many, many years ago. It's the Fibonacci sequence, and it's uh, now, uh, it, they did it for artistic description, and it's a mathematical equation that tells you what's pleasing to the eye and how nature works. So here we go. So they applied it to uh, uh, Leonardi, Leonardo. Uh, and it's also called the golden spiral in art. Now here's in, here it is in nature, and you can see how it spirals around. Now this happens, and you can see this, this was done in waves, and you may know this artist. This is not the one we're dealing with today, but here it is again in nature. So we got the golden spiral, it's a mathematical equation. Here's a photographer where he composed it. He put the subject off on the left side, and he got the spiral going. Um, and this is something that you can only learn by either studying this or studying nature. So let's get back to this guy's paintings here. Uh, this is not the, uh, in that line, but take take a look at this. Now we're going to go through these paintings, and I think they're awesome. And you can uh, uh, go over there at the end. There'll be a link to the the, the whole thing on which this individual. And I'm not going to give him away. Many of you already know who it is, uh, and probably have seen his take on that. I told him I was going to pull these paintings down and I was going to do something on them, and I really liked them, and I, I really do. So we've got the golden spiral kind of going in here. We've got nice placement here. We talk about different placements, and, and I've uh, done a little bit in the watercolor channel, if you go over there and look at that, where uh, don't ever put anything in the center of your painting. Don't put it, uh, in, and then work in thirds if you're using a landscape, lower third, upper third. But uh, look at the bold colors on this. This is hard to do. This is hard to do to put these colors through here and get the lines and the definition and the shadow in there. And here we go, another case of the golden spiral. Now, I, I'm pretty sure this individual did not know about the golden spiral. And this is something that just came out of his brain. And these things come out of his brain. Now, these, these paintings, I, I, he, he, he's not real fond of them and he sees flaws in them uh, and he's too critical. Uh, I'll tell you that straight up front. So, but you can see, I can picture, and many of these I like, um, a couple of them I would have even bought, uh, some of the others I wouldn't have bought, I just, I would just like them, and if you were to put these all on a gallery art wall, you would know that primarily these came from the same artist, because this artist has a style. The hardest thing that artists come up with is their own style. But this guy's got a unique style. And he's starting to do some watercolor stuff. I, I, I saw a few of his paintings uh, over the last couple of years. They'd pop in there. And uh, I was encouraging him to do something uh, with them. And, and the way to do that was to get him uh, playing around with watercolor. So you're, you're not carving all the time. But to get these shadows, these color combinations, and going in here. And th this is a monochromatic uh, with the way that he did with the charcoal. But uh, that's really hard to do when you get in that. You've got the mountains in the bottom. I don't know what that is right there. But uh, I just wanted to point out, uh, everybody who's doing art, uh, or what, trying to question what is art, art is whatever you decide to build. Uh, as long as you're having fun when you're doing it. And this, this piece here I think is awesome. Uh, and he talks about it a little bit. You can turn it any which direction. Uh, this is almost in the illustration realm as a, a, of art. Now th this is awesome. You could see this hanging uh, in a hospital. You could see this hanging in a hotel room uh, somewhere. Uh, and this guy doesn't think that they, these are good enough for anyone to do anything. 
but uh, take a look at these and tell me if you as you're going through here and, and, and look in your mind and think if you couldn't see these uh, setting hanging on a wall somewhere and this was an experimentation piece that he did here these are all done with charcoal can you imagine the time it would take to do each of those little individuals and hey look at that you got the golden spiral in there and there it is again and almost going on there but uh, unique uh, unique color chromatic this one I really like uh, I know that that's he talks about it it's the northern lights I know it's the northern lights but it's it's a style it's his style and he says it's not finished uh, I like it just like it is it's awesome so if you if you're starting to do art there's a reason that you do it uh, I do it because it's relaxing and it's enjoyable uh, I like to share it with other people. Uh, this individual does it because he likes to uh, relax him. He's a carver. I'm a wood carver. Uh, you may or may not know I started a painting, watercolor painting channel. Uh, here's a eagle that he didn't impose over a wood grain background. And uh, give it a try. Try to uh, get the shading and the wood grain and get the face in there and get that. Uh, this is coming from a unique mind. And uh, this is pure art. There's, there's no question about it. And it's a style already. And uh, I'm not going to comment on, on these on how to... Uh, I can see things in there that I would correct on these. I certainly couldn't do these. I'm not uh, an art critic by any means. Uh, there's some stuff I would correct, but I would never uh, share that with this individual. Because I wouldn't want to mess with his style. So when we're doing the watercolor stuff, and uh, we've decided to go ahead with a little series there, uh, I'll I'll try to teach and uh, go, and I'm going to use this individual as a as our guinea pig and and let him follow along. But uh, he's going to develop a unique style with that watercolor, but he already has a unique style with uh, cheap nasty acrylic paints. I know that because we've we've talked about it. I like to use uh, expensive paints or uh, artist or professional grade paints because of the pigment. I'm not a big fan of acrylics uh, and charcoal has always annoyed me. It's an art class thing, but look what he's done with charcoal and acrylics uh, just over there. So I wanted to share this with you uh, on what is art and art is uh, in the eye of the beholder. This was a competition piece that he did and I think it's just awesome. It uh, stretches into the, uh, I mean, you got the sky in there. You got the waves in there. They're stylistic waves. Um, it's just a great, great composition and layout. And if you look, take a good look at that, you can see the way that's laid out. We got the golden spiral going uh, without this individual even knowing uh, what he was up to. Imagine uh, having that body of work uh, sitting around. So there's enough stuff here that this could go, these could go to a gallery. And so when this guy dies, uh, hopefully many years from now, uh, a relative will come over and collect these out of a closet. And he'll have some notoriety for being a uh, woodcarver of some note and uh, painter. And these will all go to a gallery and then a relative will make, make a fortune. Uh, check out the wood grain in this. I think that's what he was doing was a uh, bark or wood grain on a tree. Uh, that's try to do that and see how that works. And notice how it kind of warps off to the side and then it has the shadows. Uh, I think that's just awesome. And like I said, you could find that uh, hanging on uh, any any wall anywhere and ultimately sellable. And here's another one. I would suggest uh, to those of you that are budding artists out there, uh, don't be 
a harsh critic be a critic for sure uh, so that you advance uh, and and try new things um, by all means solicit uh, opinions of your work from other folks and uh, if their suggestions make sense take them uh, take some art classes if, if that uh, works for you uh, there's a lot of stuff online uh, of course uh, this, this channel and many other channels down below in the links uh, deal with uh, wood carving primarily and then uh, over at the painting channel it'll get you started you can type in whatever type of art you're trying to do decoupage etc etc and a lot of folks have committed time to YouTube uh, to show you what they're doing and to try to further their art and that's why we're doing that or I'm doing this uh, I want to point out uh, and, and here's the start of the water, watercolor stuff. So this is a random watercolor. And I sent this individual some uh, good, high-quality watercolors. But uh, the stuff that he's starting to do with just a uh, $15 paint set uh, and, and cheap pigments. I mean, I love that tree. It's simplistic in and of itself. And uh, he's got the, the, the mountains and the stuff that he's doing in here. And this is done in watercolor. Uh, and, and that's a hard hard medium to do what he's come up with thus far so without any training without uh, looking at anything uh, look at some of the stuff that he's already starting to come up with and, uh, and you should uh, subscribe to his channel my channel now and it, those of you that don't know who this is by now I'm going to tell you in just a minute but here's a uh, here's a tree uh, pull out your watercolors and give that a shot and see that was the first attempt at a tree and uh, a branch coming off out in the outside and then he's got the shading in there so I just wanted to do this to uh, highlight this uh, this individual's work and I'm going to tell you who he is here in a minute without uh, without ruining it and uh, you, if you are not familiar with him most of you are because we have a lot of the same viewers go over to his channel and uh, and subscribe and uh, subscribe to our too so who did all this art uh, well my good friend uh, Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion uh, did this and he does a lot of wood carving and he just recently got his art out and we're going to do some uh, you can, he's got a new channel that art find you subscribers are coming there and I put a new channel up also uh, watercolor studio on the lake so subscribe while you're there click like and by all means uh, share it thanks a lot this has been Ben with studio on the lake